Hi everyone, welcome to week six of the course. We're talking about consciousness this week. Um, it's a fabulous and interesting week. The questions date back to the philosophers with ideas about I think therefore I am and how do we know who we are and is there a soul that's separate from the human body and what is the mind? So they're ancient questions but this week we'll be focusing on them in a decidedly modern approach that focuses on the brain because we know now in modern science that the brain is the seat of all mental activity. All of our thinking, all of our awareness of what goes on is because of the brain and this approach is going to be reflected in pretty much everything we see or do this week. You'll notice in the discussion this week that there are some interesting topics you might want to go take a look at even if you're not writing on them. For example, there's a video uh, about a woman named Terry Schiavo who uh, went into a coma because she had an incident. We're not sure whether it was because she had an eating disorder or some other incident, but she had oxygen cut off from her brain and she ended up in a coma. And she was in a coma for many, many years. And the question was, how aware was she of her surroundings? It seemed like she could respond to people, but was that really a voluntary response? Was she consciously aware of what people were doing and of how she was responding to information, or was she not actually aware? And it became a large court case because her husband wanted to take her off the feeding tubes. He believed she wasn't conscious, and he thought she wouldn't want to live that way, but her parents felt differently. So if you go to one of the discussion topics, it has a topic about Terry. You can see a video on it, and you can participate in that discussion. Here you'll see that issues about consciousness are not just what philosophers dealt with. They're important because they're life and death issues. If you've ever known anyone who had a traumatic brain injury or who was in a coma, you know these decisions can really impact their lives. Terry Shiva's life or her death depended on decisions made by doctors and psychologists about whether she was or was not conscious. So go take a look at the video and read the article about it and start doing your activities about consciousness. I think you're going to find it interesting. I look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye.